When I was a little boy, there was one thing I was very, very sure of. I would become a priest. No, I think I was sure that I would become an actor. No, a writer. Or a painter, or a, a famous singer. Anyway, before I knew it, I found myself at the seminary, the Priest Academy. And I had a magnificent time there. There were so many challenges for a chaotic, creative, adolescent boy like me. I mean, you could do all kinds of sports. You could play basketball, soccer, volleyball, tennis, and I did all that. There was a swimming pool, and there was a theater. I did at least one stage play a year. Um, I was at the photo club, the Boy Scouts, the Boy Squire. There were no girls there, of course. And <clears throat> I learned to play a bit of guitar and a bit of piano. And another thing. Your sons and your daughters are beyond your command. Your old road is rapidly aging. Please get out of the new one if you can't lend your hand. Oh, the times they are changing. All of a sudden, there was a collective change of mind going on. We threw off the grey coats and the neckties that our parents wore. We stopped talking in long, formal sentences, and we allowed ourselves to let our minds speak. We didn't take things for granted anymore. And we had more sex. And there was the Beatles, and there was the Stones, and there was Jimi Hendrix and Bob Dylan. And there was hair everywhere. <laughs> and there I was, a 16-year-old boy in the midst of the 60s. And even a priest student becomes a bit rebellious. I felt my faith in Rome was shrinking. But I found new comfort in Liverpool. St. John, St. George, St. Paul <laughs> and St. Ringo. So becoming a priest was no longer an option. Now I only had become an actor, a painter, a writer, or a singer to pick from. I found a reasonable mix in attending art school, playing in a band, and writing songs. But before that, I had to face my duty as a soldier, <clears throat> and I was a window dresser and a letter painter for a little while. Later, when I finished art school, I got a job as an illustrator for an advertising agency. But soon enough, I got fed up drawing soup cans, detergent packs, and sunny beaches with palm trees, and I got more and more interested in the creative process. So I became an art director, and a copywriter, and a TV producer, an art director again. And I kept writing songs, and I got married, and my wonderful son was born. And I divorced, and... Apparently, I was born with a very clear karma. You need to change. I had this desire to meet new challenges, to explore the boundaries of my possibilities, to renew and to reinvent myself time and time again. And I had this urge to create. I wanted to make something to bring things that would move you, that would make you think, or make you doubt, or make you give, or make you whatever. I love the profession of creative communication. I simply loved it. And then I fell into a trap. <clears throat> the 
being creative director of the Dutch branch of an international agency, I worked for big international clients. And being a member of the management team, I felt responsible, responsible for the well-being of the people there. Can you feel the conflict coming? I started to proclaim things that I didn't believe in, <clears throat> in a way that wasn't mine. Actually, I was sort of betraying myself. And my enthusiasm, my perfectionism, my never-ending energy, and my responsibility drove me into a burnout. And it took me years to get out of it. I've been through a lot of things, more than I just told you, of course. I'm 68 now. I've been to the 60s and back. And I want to tell you this. Some say that all the people want to keep things the same. That they want to stick to how it always was. This all the guy says. Embrace changes. They keep you fit to adjust and to overcome obstacles. They feed you cre creativity. They keep you alive. Now, I don't want to be preaching here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but I found out the hard way that if you want to be true, if you want to remain true to yourself, and stick to your dreams, you have to have the courage to change. And I wrote a song about it. Gotta get yourself another coat If you can mend it You gotta turn into another road If this one's ended You gotta look out for a different view When the old one's fading Don't you worry that it's hard to find All you need is a change of mine. A doctor wants a new belief. If this one fails you, tell you lover that you have to leave. If this one nails you, pick up your bags and hit the track. When your train has come, screw up the courage and pull up the blind. All you need is a change of mind Keep your hopes, meet your dreams Build your life upon it Draw you plan, make you move And rely upon it Step away from the daily grind All you need is a change of mine Grow yourself another skin If it feels too tired Build yourself a bigger fire If you need the light don't look back on what you leave behind oh. All you need is a change of mind Keep your hopes, hopes. meet your dreams, dreams. Build your life upon Draw your plan, plan. make you move, move. And rely upon, and rely upon. Oh. Step away from the day you mm -hmm.
of the barn and draw you plan, make you move and rely upon. Keep your hopes, meet your dreams, build your life upon it. Step away from the daily grind, screw up the courage and pull up the blood.